Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Texas Decor and More and today we actually are going to be doing some fall decor using only items from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm really upset. I had made these two floral arrangements in a prior video and I thought that it was recording and of course it didn't record a darn thing. So, I just wanted to show you that I purchased all these florals. I did a haul the other day. All these florals were purchased at the Dollar Tree, including the vase that you see right here. That was also purchased at the Dollar Tree. And all I did, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it had some rope around it. And I just kind of painted it a reddish burgundy color. But yeah, I had done these arrangements and I was just talking away and recording away and everything like that and it did not record. So I actually have another one that I started on right there that I was recording earlier. And I'm just going to go ahead and film this one and make this one and kind of explain to you guys what I'm doing. So. I'm going to try this again using this one. I've already pre-cut all the flowers that I will be using for this arrangement right here. And it's going to be going right there. So this is the second arrangement that I had did earlier today. I mean, I'm just so excited for fall already. I had done this one. And no two arrangements are ever going to be exactly alike, so don't ever fret about that. You know, it's going to have its little flair to each one. So I wanted to show you all that. And we're going to be working on this arrangement here. And these are all the florals from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to be using. So stay tuned because we're going to get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do before we start on, I can't figure it out. Before we start on this one, I'm going to remove these two so I'll have more space. So we're just going to move these out of the way. And I took this, I took this out of the bucket simply because it's just easier for me to work with at the time instead of, you know, um, digging in that bucket and trying to place my florals around. It just, it just makes it easier for me. Okay. So, like I said, I've already started with this and I pulled all these little guys apart and sometimes it's really good to cut everything up to cut everything up individually, which I have done right here, and I've kind of got them in stacks on how I want them to, to go. So, you're really supposed to do it in threes. However, I only have... Okay. My husband's talking about food. He's hungry, y'all. So, I only have two of these. So, I'm just going to place one right here. And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to I'm going to turn around and I'm going to place one right here. And what you kind of want to do is you just want to you want to build around with your uh, taller florals first. I build around with my taller florals and then I go in with my shorter ones after. So I've got my one little, little baby sunflower here and I've got a sunflower here. I'm just building around and adding, adding to it. And I've got a couple of more are these little sunflowers they're really cute so I've got one there 
So I'm going to place one here. Place one here. And then I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to place one here. So what you're doing is you're just kind of creating a foundation, a building block. And you start, I start height, height first, and then add around as I go. So, I only have two of these really pretty red, dark red. Well, it's not burgundy, but it's, it's it might look orange on film, but they're actually, they're actually red. I only have two, so let me see where I want to place them. So, I have this one. And I'll place that one there, and then I'll turn around, and I'm going to place one right here. And all this really, you guys, is constantly playing and maneuvering things around. That's basically, basically what you're doing. So I have this one, and this one I think I have to say is my favorite because it has the little acorns on it, and I really think it's cute, and I kind of want it to be my focal point, so I think I'm going to add this right here in the middle because I have these dark leafy ones behind. Let's see, I have this dark leafy one behind and like I said I really like the really like the acorn and it's the only one that I have of the sunflower so I'm gonna make that my focal point so we're just adding we're just gonna keep adding keep adding around so I'm gonna put another sunflower directly under that one and then we're going to add another one right here. And see how I've got a lot of green right here? And it looks really drab. So I'm just going to add this sunflower right in the middle of all that green. Right there to break up. I'm going to break up all that green. Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Alright, I wanted to break that up. So, I have some of these little pomegranates that I'm going to be adding as well. Also have two of these orange. And I only have two of them, and they're really tall. So let me think where I want to place those. I think I'll place one right here, right there, and we'll do another one right here because I think this is actually going to be my front. This is what I want to be my front because of this sunflower right here. So this is actually going to be the front of my arrangement. All right. So now I think it's time. I think we've built everything up enough to where I can put it into the vase and see where we're working with from there.
I mean, guys, you can bend these and you can spin them around and, and you know, make it play with it and make it look the way you want. But one thing I'm not liking about it is see how I have these. All, I need one over here. I think I need one over here. Because you want your arrangement, you want it to be balanced out. So, that's really important. You do want your arrangement to be balanced out. You don't want one side looking all wonky and the other side looking really good. So, I'm just going to add a couple more of these to my arrangement. And yeah, there you have it. There you have it, folks. This is uh, my third, my third fall arrangement. Like I'm saying, I'll probably play with it some more just because I'm so OCD. I'll probably be playing with this a lot more, but this is what I've got so far, and if I do play with it a little bit more, I will uh, do an another video and show you what I changed, what I changed. So this is the back, of course, and I wanted it, you know, to be fuller in the back because like I said this is my focal point focusing on the sunflower with the acorns so yeah this is what I did and y'all stay tuned because I have a whole box of fall stuff that we're going to be decorating and tweaking up and fun stuff that I'm going to be doing for fall. So y'all stay tuned. And if you like my channel, please like and subscribe. I thank y'all so much for watching Texas Decor More. Have a good day.